this is what you did. I don't know if you're pleased. Because now I have an accent. I just looked up the articles. It's midnight. It's midnight on the 13th in Dallas. This is what you have going. So you did this thing that you did. It's similar to what you did in 2018. Remember? Originally, they said that there was a certain number that were injured. But then... Within a certain amount of time, after there had been major, major activity connected to the original announcement, well, then they changed the metric. Originally, there were 14. How do I know there were 14? Because while the shooting was occurring and while it was being registered and whoever responded and was on the scene and taking the information, I was forwarding myself emails. Emails regarding post on a blog from a major law firm who had a lawyer who was the son of a man who was the principal at the firm that was involved with trafficking a woman and her children. One of her children happened to be named Austin. The other child happened to be named India. Now, the thing is, I know you're not supposed to reveal the name of minors, but when you just use their initials, and the lawyers have all their primary source documents, and the lawyers get all this cover-up from the state, as well as federal actors, even after you try to report that this is a national security incident? Even after that? Well, you can't say the name. They're minors. Except they know the name, and it's because they know the name, and they have the documents, and now it's been several years. She's probably in puberty now, isn't she? I bet she is. I bet she started menstruating by now, hasn't she? I bet now would be a good time for you to try to impose upon or project upon her that she's ready per a culturally appropriate experience to actually be sexually engaged by some man you've already hooked up in the pipeline for her. I already know you've actually done this to her. I already know in the United States she does not qualify to be of the legal age of consent. I already know this. But you're so orientalist, you will make a justification for already hooking the deals up on her, and you shut me up. And you already sold all of that information to a bunch of lawyers that would cooperate with you. And you did all of these things, and by the time the evidence was recorded, by the time the surveillance had recorded the evidence that I found concurrent to the assassination of those young people in Canada. Well, somehow the metric changed. No, it wasn't that amount. It was a different amount. You just did the same thing in Chicago. You let a whole bunch of deals initially clear on one public reporting, but now you've changed it. So you're going to have different metrics now. Oh, I, I guess I got it wrong. Oh, they reported something a little. No information came to light. No, it didn't. You had to adjust the metrics because you got busted that badly. That's what you did. You know, I saw the picture. Is that actually the crime scene? Is this article in ABC News? Is that actually the crime scene? I know that bar. I've been there. I've been to that very bar. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's, there's something next to it. Yes. And where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? Well, they went to the place that is the great sign of victory for the movement. The movement for justice. They got a trauma center. They got a trauma center and you sold my entire community and my entire, entire life so that you could, what, support their movement? Are any of those people that were injured from their community? Or is that just what they're expected to pay in their lawyer's fees? I mean, you probably did get them a settlement from the city as part of all those protests last year. So they need to be able to pay their taxes somehow. Did you get the permissions from the members of the community before you signed them up to be the people to work the taxes? For the lawyers, by the way. They're not even working taxes for stuff they get for their own community. They're working taxes for the lawyers that speculated on their livelihoods and hooked up kickbacks with their friends that got doctor's degrees and pretend to be involved in some sort of medical thing concurrent to people that actually every once in a while or probably more often than they should have to deal with actual trauma. See, if you would actually address the political issues, they would have had a lot less of a need 
for a trauma center. And then they might have actually had a political movement to do something about the army actually setting up an engineering center with that medical center. But then we'd have a big problem with the futures market. You're working with the School of Social Work across the Midway. Why? And so you're going to use some accounts you set up on her across the Midway in order to get something that's a more close approximation of who you intend for this to actually deposit to. I see. So you absolutely did. You absolutely did order the shooting of those people in both cities so that you could use them in their medical treatment as loans. Are they going to be considered those reperforming loans you auctioned off last month just in time for now? When did that auction through Fannie Mae happen? When did the auction through Fannie Mae happen in May? They got a little, they announced it in April, but they didn't really make a very bold public announcement like they had before. See, we apparently have only got about two weeks, less than two weeks before the bandwidth ends up. Those options end up coming, right? So are you intending to get them some treatment, let them acclimate, and then all sorts of weird things are going to happen to them once they're back on the street? Yes, you are. In both Austin and in Chicago. Let's go to Austin. The report on Austin is what? Well, they got shot. No, 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 no. Anybody that knows Austin and Weird Town knows exactly where that is. You know where that is? That is within one to five blocks of the Salvation Army. That is within less than 10 blocks of the actual Capitol grounds. What do you intend to do with that? Party goers out on the street. Just a random drive by. Nobody knows who it is. That's not true. Even with the COVID 19, even with COVID, that's not possible for them to do what you're saying they did and get away. That whole strip is sh shut down. On Friday and Saturday night, there are police stationed within two blocks of every point of entry and exit. There's no way what you're reporting in the media could have happened unless there was an active conspiracy by those that were on duty at the time. But there is a utility to having reports right now that it happened at that time and in that location based on what you set up last year.